Sometimes early spring brings us some nasty tricks, uh, including snowfall when we're ready to move on. And so, as I promised, here's a little exclusive processing tip um, for all of you subscribers um, on how to deal with images that are taken on a snowy and uh, often overcast day, or it doesn't have to be just overcast, but there's often a, a very different exposure value between the uh, what the exposure value is of the snow and then other levels. And so if you shoot, you know, for example, this is a pretty close to a, a proper exposure value here. You see that our histogram is pretty nicely balanced here overall, but you'll see that uh, there is enough of, of a blowout here in the surface of the snow that uh, some of that interesting texture information gets lost. And, and so here's a quick tip uh, to help you to deal with that. Now, um, in Lightroom, where I'm starting here, you have the option of using the highlight slider, which um, is, uh, in many cases, a very, very powerful tool. But I find in often snow situations, if you pull it all the way over, as I've done here, while we have recovered some of that interesting texture information from the footprints in the snow, we see that we have also really altered the overall look of the image because this is a global change. And so here is a quick little Photoshop tip that can help you. And so if we take this image on into Photoshop, which I've already done, um, we'll see that it's very simple. We're just going to create a new layer and then we're going to change, and this is very, very important. We need to change that blending mode. We're going to change that to soft light. Then we're going to grab a brush over here. We're just going to select black and check uh, an opacity somewhere maybe around 30% uh, or so. You can always go back over. And I have a nicely uh, soft brush here of um, feathering out. And so then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to start painting on the snow area, particularly this area that I want to bring back that uh, texture information on. And then as you can see, um, without affecting the rest of the image, I'm just helping to bring back some of that texture information. And so when we look in closer to the image, we can see that those footprints are standing out a whole lot more. If we toggle that on and off, you see the difference between kind of the blow out, blown out. And this is not the, the worst example. There are other examples I could use that are um, even, this technique works even better on, and particularly in bright, sunny type images. But, uh, and so you can see that we have affected just the area with the snow. Now, if you say, well, that, that's, that's a little too dark for me. The great news here is that you have a lot of options. You can take the opacity of that back and you can blend it to where it's pleasing to your eye. Or let's say, we'll just uh, brush here. Let's say that you've been brushing in this area and you've hit this area where there's a stump and there's something darker and you don't want that there. All we can do is just quickly throw a layer mask on that and then using that same paintbrush, we're just gonna click a few times and paint in that area where that is and we can restore that. And, and so you could also do that along here where you don't want it maybe as dark. And, uh, and so you see how, and I've begun to use this quite often in my images with snow because often it's those footprints that add a bit of visual interest um, to an image or help to lead into your subject. And so losing that, having that blown out is uh, to me not a net positive, but if you can bring that back and then through other exposure steps, you can maybe balance it more, but it's quick and easy, just a few seconds to uh, help to restore detail in the snow. I hope this has helped you out in your own processing journey. Have a great day. Thanks, I'm Dustin Abbott.